welcome back if you're joining us for another video if you're joining us for the first time hello hey look i'm really excited i've had two boxes i got two boxes of sparkly critters if you haven't checked those videos out check them out um and from the first opening of the second box it looks like there may be two boxes in the series one and each one holds half of the collection list i may have lucked out we're going to confirm that today with a further free opening see if we get any double ups from our little line here of series one i got all my slimes i made over there i absolutely love making slime now <laughs> I've seen so many horror videos, but it was so easy and they've all come out perfect. So I'm going to get straight into it. These are sparkly critters from Poopsie. They come in a can and you open them at the side with the perforated edge. By opening at the side with the perforated edges, I mean you try and get a tiny little grasp in there and it just kind of unwinds itself. Then there is a little arrow here. Um, don't try and pull the top off. Don't, you know, look for anything fancy. You just push it in and it pulls out like that. <gasps> and you guys might know what that means if you've joined me in the last um, few poopsie openings. If it has an extra uh, case here called Unicorn Sparkle, that means you're getting an Ultra Rare. So, an Ultra Rare is always good. I'm hoping it's one I don't have. Uh, let's see, what am I missing in the Ultra Rares? I'm missing Rainbow Bright Star. So if my theory is correct, this will be the last Ultra Rare I need to complete the Ultra Rares out of my set, as I do have Singe. I do have Oopsie Starlight. And Cinnamon, I love Cinnamon. I love Cinnamon so much. So if my theory is correct, it is Rainbow Bright Star. <laughs> okay, so this is what you use to make your little angels slime. We'll put those as aside. We're going to start off with the slime holding kit. So each of these, I think there's like three different, is it two or three different designs? Um, might only be two, no, I think there's three different designs. This is a little bag that you get with your mixing spoon to make the slime that holds your slime inside just like this for example it keeps it nice and safe and get all the air out in a such a cool way of storing your slime so we've got the fartitos bag lots of poop jokes in this obviously let's see what one we got oh yeah yep i'm right la caca in the purple now um oopsie came with la caca in the pink so it is the same idea if you haven't seen the videos before these are effectively a straw and bottle that's what their designs meant to be um, and you fill it with water to feed your little baby in order to do the shake 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 let's make some slimes it's so cool oh my goodness i've been so lucky with these two boxes okay I'm sad there's only one more passes. Let's open it together even though we're pretty sure who we're getting. Oh, hey guys. I even, oh my goodness. Oh, I like her a lot more than Oopsie. Even though I think I like Oopsie more as one of the large rainbow unicorns. Oopsie had a lot of, um painting areas i'm just going to try and see i'm just going to show up here because i'm not sure if they're painting areas though since it's this whole way of all over she seems to be covered in some sort of sparkle everywhere which i don't think actually looks that nice but oh, rainbow bright star isn't she's a beautiful white look at that rainbow here oh my goodness and check out those rooted eyes gorgeous so it's almost like her painter or whatever factory she was made. She got a much better painter. <laughs> Oopsie's gorgeous, don't get me wrong. I think Oopsie's absolutely gorgeous, but um, I actually like the painting on Rainbow Bright Star more. I don't know if that blue glitter everywhere all over Oopsie was a mistake. I mean, I could just wash it off, I suppose, but... Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I have all the ultra rares now. So let's put her behind with her little set because we're going to make slime with her. We're going to feed baby and shake, shake, shake. Okay, um, alright. Perforated edge. 
round two. Ta-da! So easy. Not <laughs> at least the next part's easy. I really like this. Though I do wish they had made this some sort of actually plastic door because this would be such a cool DIY for necklaces and jewelry and stuff. So we have our unicorn magic and unicorn shimmer, which means we're getting a common or a rare. Just so you know, that's how you tell. You can tell within the first instance. That is our spoon. That is our our bottle and straw for feeding baby that's the checklist and instructions and there's our baby so I'm I'm pretty confident that we're gonna get something new pretty pretty confident that we're gonna get something new oh I don't want to start with that I'm already going for it but no I don't want to I want to see what our slime packet is first oh so we've got the pupitos packet so this one comes with nice bag of Popitos cheesy poops right there then let's see what we've got here okay we have Fata instead of Fanta we have Fata orange odor orange just to be exact for feeding our baby I'm just going to bring up the other farters we've got. We've had strawberry, stinky strawberry, and we've had goop grape. So they've covered all the, um, you know, they're covering all the flavors that of that lovely farter drink. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing, you know what? I don't want to guess. I just want to pull it out. So beautiful every single one is just beautiful now this one I think is a rare am I correct yes okay so this is bubbles this is the little fish and if you are new to these things they they're basic articulation you cannot rotate their head it's just their arms and legs but I mean who cares when you've got eyes with eyelashes like that they are so cute so this is a little bubbles and bubbles is a pooper the way of telling is if they are a spitter they do not have a heart on their bottom if they are a pooper they have a heart on their bottom and you can see on her neck is MGA China how beautiful is that a gorgeous soft pink and blue fish unicorn I mean who doesn't want to stick a unicorn horn on everything I really love these my only wish past this is that um that you know how they made all the unicorns they made um, the four unicorns in the large size they make some of these alternate characters in the last size can you imagine a giant doll of that tiger a poopsy surprise doll of that tiger this size <gasps> it would be to die for or this little fox on oh, my little fox oh I would be at the store and I'd buy every single one just so nobody else can have her <laughs> I'd be like that's mine forever and nobody else <laughs> I just love them so incredibly much they are absolutely adorable okay so let's get into this one Woo! We have our Unicorn Magic and our Unicorn Shimmer. We have our spoon, our bottle, there's the checklist, and our creature. Always remember kids, reduce, reuse, recycle anything that you're going to put in the trash if, you, if it's rubbish. Instead, sort it out into what can be recycled and what can't. So that future poopsies can have a home. Let's snip it off. Making such a mess on this tablecloth. There's just slime splatters and glitter and <laughs> stuff everywhere. <laughs> My cloth needs a wash. Okay, so this one comes with a Pupitos bag. That's really cute. My boy's squealing in the background. He must be excited over something. Let's see what bottle we got. Oops, oops. Yep. Oh, we got another. F I, I didn't even know there was another flavor of Farta. Okay, so we have a Farta. This one has a green straw at the top. Farta Pooey Pineapple. Must be an American thing. I don't remember a Fanta pineapple flavor, but obviously there is. <laughs> 
so we got two Fata lovers, hey? Let's see who we're gonna get. Alright, let's rip into it. Oh, I see a pink, I see a pink thing at the head. I didn't mean to peep, but oh! finally Nanners has appeared. This is the one my daughter really likes. So Nanners is a common but that doesn't detract from how beautiful Nana's is. I think, oh, Nana's is a pooper. Nana's is absolutely gorgeous. This is the one my daughter wants. Let's bring the spotlight down. Oh my goodness, I should have had the spotlight on the first two so you guys could see them better. I'll bring them up just before I go into the slime making. How gorgeous is that? She's gonna be so excited. She's got a real thing for monkeys, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it all, uh, she used to spend hours making stories with her LPS monkeys. That's why I loved buying them for her. So that's really cute. I'm gonna... Here is Bubbles in the spotlight. How cute! And Rainbow Brightstar, who completes our ultra rares for this collection. Awesome! There is only three more to go in the set. There is three cans left, so just so you know, there is half a set in each box that you can buy. How cute is this? I love her, I love her, I love her. Wow, all right, uh, we're gonna get into making the slime. I'll give a step by step. Be right back. Okay, so on to the slime making. I have reaching across here ah, and dropping them everywhere, my goodness. So these are my cups that I used. I haven't rinsed them out like I did the other video, but um, they're pretty dry. There's some sparklies in there too, which I wouldn't mind actually being picked up in the next slime. I've got my three cups here. I'm gonna start off with uh, Rainbow Bright Stars. Rainbow Bright Stars slime. I'm sorry I'm doing this the next day, so I'm a little catching up with where I've been, mummy brain. Okay, so she's got a purple one. Now, if it's an ultra rare, it comes with this extra packet, as I've picked out. I've probably already said that, but hey, it's the next day. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Rainbow Bright Star up here. Is she a pooper? She is a pooper. So you know they're a pooper if they have a heart hole in their butt. <laughs> but she needs, before she needs to go to toilet, she needs to be fed. So I'm going to get her soda can here. And I'm going to point this out every single video because I think this is the silliest thing to say in instructions. But there are so many silly people, they're probably just covering themselves. Cup of water is not included. So provide your own cup of water. Stick in the straw of the bottle and then pull outwards. Ah, there we go get your little one and make sure that she's not forward so it's not going to come out of her mouth on a slight lean and then feed her slowly i'll do it so you can see the water going in and just like i've had real success with these slimes in fact the only slime we've had wrong my son did <laughs> and i think that might be where a lot of parents and kids are going wrong they're just being impatient and you've got to be patient in these things you just have to be. So pull it out and then you put her pacifier back into her mouth so it doesn't leak out. Isn't she beautiful? Then you have to shake her for one minute. Go! And stop! <laughs> now I think this is an extremely important part of the process. You've got to really get into it with shaking it. And also afterwards, all my sweeties over this side have been rinsed out afterwards with another cup of fresh water. And they've all had little residue of slime or um, powder left in them. And you wanna really get that out. So once you've done it, make sure that you rinse your toy out one more time because you really want this dry inside here and not creating mold and ruining your toy in the future. So anyways, here is the cup. I've chosen the one that has some star heart sprinkles in it here. I'm gonna bring that down and let's watch her poop. Okay, so I couldn't get my first ones to poop and then I, I think I worked out in the second video how to do that. You've really gotta put your finger over here and make sure this holds and you really have to squish their head. So just mind their eyelashes and stuff.
There she goes. <laughs> I like the spewing ones more than the pooping ones. I'm gonna say that. I, oh, this color is disgusting. At least um, they haven't made a brown, <laughs> a brown pooper because that would be. Look, this purple kind of. Oh God, you really got to get it out of there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I want to meet the hand of the person who developed it and shake it. You know, I, I highly doubt I'll ever have that um, privilege, but I just love these poopsie surprises. I love the poopsie keychains. I love the giant unicorns. I love the entire poopsie range. It just, it's so fun. And it's just really out there. <laughs> Unicorns, poop, and slime. Three things that are so popular right now. So, oh my goodness, Rainbow Bright Star, her tummy feels a little better. Um, there's definitely going to be some more in her airway. I can see the bubbles in there. So, as I said, make sure you give it a bit of a rinse out with water until the water's coming out super clean and there isn't much else left in there. Just to save your toy from possible future mole problems. Okay, so Rainbow Bright Star has pooped her her lot. Let's get on to Bubbles. Here is Bubbles. I just can't say how adorable these creatures are. They are just adorable and I am so excited for them because they actually are super duper fun to play with as well as being adorable. You do pay a lot for them. I'm going to say that right now but I think they're well worth the expense considering uh, a Playline Barbie in New Zealand is about $16 New Zealand for $10 more you've got these and I you know that my daughter's a huge Barbie fan but I consider $10 more paying $10 more for these a much better investment okay shall we feed bub oh that doesn't look right that doesn't look right at all look at that I'm gonna try that again. Is there something wrong with this one? Hold on. Or was I just talking too much and not concentrating on what I'm doing? Oh, there's something wrong with this one. I'm so glad I noticed that. It's only filling up to there. It's almost like there's something wrong with the suction. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time to see if her bottle will fill with water. I wonder if there's been other ones like this out there oh look at that yep so let's not use bubbles Fanta we'll put that up there because that is a broken one that's not good if you you got that in your first one you'd be wondering what you do wrong when your your um, spew or poop comes out so let's see if this Fanta pooey pineapple comes out better oh I can feel the suction on this one yeah there's something wrong with the suction on the other one see that it's full of water. Okay, sorry Nanas, we're just borrowing your ones. Bubbles one was a bit... Bubbles one was bubbly. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> more bubbly than it should be. Let's slowly feed her. Okay, it's all in there. Oh, she's so, she's so happy now, she's been fed. <laughs> Put that in there. Is she a pooper? She is a pooper. And before she gets to relieve herself though, we've got to make sure she goes out and gets some exercise. Ta-da! Bubbles has been shaken. I'm sure bubbly, her tummy's a bit bubbly. I got this one with blue sparkles in from a previous slime. Um, it looks like her color might be a very soft green, almost aqua. So I thought the blue sparkles will be fine if we get a few in them. Let's take it down and let her relieve herself. <laughs> now for one of my least favorite parts. I don't mind the spewing ones. I really don't mind the spewing ones, but the poopy ones, <laughs> I feel like you're breaking them somewhat to try and get it out the bottom hole the bottom hole, quite literally the bottom hole. Oh no, she's spewing out the front, ew! No, I'm not holding that dummy in hard enough. Oh yuck, gross. Are we gonna have our second slime fail? Nope, it's coming. <laughs> oh gosh, you really have to be mindful about holding that dummy in tight. Oh my 
Goodness gracious me. Sorry if my hand gets in the way. Oh, she's spewing it out too. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just see if we can get it out the front then. It really wants to come out the front. She does not want to poop, she wants to spew. It's kind of like the first one I tried when I just was squeezing it so hard and I could not get it to come out the hole, which is why I thought, oh, it must be a spewer. Okay, it's all done and she is in desperate need of a clean because it has gone all over her face from spreading out there. So I'm going to make sure that happens. Don't worry, darling, I will clean you up very shortly. Ew, my hands! <laughs> so there you go, that's her lot in there. <laughs> it's come out kind of a murky green actually more than what it shows in the picture but that's okay let's get on to Nana's okay I'm just gonna assume Nana's um, makes yellow slime I'm not even looking at the list to just confirm just cuz you know monkey it even came with a yellow bottle though you'd think it'd say like banana or something banana milk on it well Nana's looks so excited look at that smile it really works on her um, oh gosh I hope I'm not getting uh, bubbles slime all over you Nana's I'm sorry sweetheart she had a few issues but let's fill you up you have been waiting since yesterday to have your fill Okay, there we go. Nanners has had her fill. Oh, oh, oh before she, uh, she a pooper? Yeah, she's a pooper. Before she poops it out, where is her dummy? Oh, there we go. So let's get it right. Oh no, she's got a bubble up chuck. That's all right. Just shake her a bit. Put the dummy in. And get ready to shake, shake, shake. And knock things off the side at the same time. Be right back. Okay, stop. <laughs> Nanners has been shook up. Let's see if she has as many problems as Bubbles did relieving herself. I hope not, because there's been three poopers on this video. Okay, holding her dummy in really tightly. Oh, oh, no, she has no problem. And yes, yellow, that makes sense. <laughs> Nanners had no problem. Let's <laughs> go. everywhere down her leg and tail and whatnot <laughs> so when you get a um, head like this we'll just make sure we've squeezed everything out just don't want to ruin her eyes in any sort of way yuck <laughs> this one's been a bit messier to get it back to normal just take the pacifier out and <laughs> the air goes back in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these three little lovelies over and wash them out so that they get nice and dry as it's summertime in New Zealand and it's really really hot so they dry up super fast and we also need to let the slime cure for 20 minutes when I come back let's see if it has cured or if we still have a runny diarrhea mess be right back Okay, I'm back. I have cleaned out each of my girls and I, I just really wanted to put this in to stress how important it is that you clean out your little girls because I, when I cleaned out Rainbow Bright Star, when I squished her, it felt like there was a blockage in her like somewhere and then I squished her again and a snake about this size of very thin slime came out of her system so it was obviously stuck in the poop hole somewhere. <laughs> So you really need to rinse these girls out because I don't know if this stuff is mold producing over time um, and you don't want internally in their systems any mold getting in and growing and it just could wreck your toys. So really give your girls a rinse after you've done it or boys if you prefer. You can think of them as boys. I don't care whether they're boys or girls. I'm just these three here I think the girls so that's my personal opinion let's see if I've got runny diarrhea or nice solid doodos okay rainbow bright stars doodos looking lovely oh and some of those little sparkly hearts I've got on the side there now I think this one was bubbles 
So Bubbles got her nice green one here. And Nanners, yep, they've all cured lovely. So the next step is to put in the Unicorn Magic, the Unicorn Shimmer to make it a bit more sparkly. And then if you do have an ultra rare, last of all, you put in the Unicorn Sparkle. I'm gonna move the camera down and you can see how I'm making these. Okay, so I've seen actual videos where the mums have no idea what to do with the spoon. It, it is just to basically get the slime molded and whatnot. Now it says to add the unicorn magic slowly. I've actually found it works just fine. I have, like I said, I've only had one fail <laughs> so far on these slimes. The rest have been fantastic and they're all locked away in their bags. So I, what I do is I shake it all out into the, as much into the middle as I can. It's kind of gone everywhere this time, but try into the middle there. Make sure we've got it all out. <laughs> there we go. Then, you know, you don't want to touch doo-doo with your hands, but you're going to have to. <laughs> I then use this to fold it over and then it's a process of pulling, folding, pulling, folding. And if you get any powder down there, pulling, folding, splat, splat, splat. So I'll speed it up and let's see where we get to. Okay, so I now have the slime at a consistency where it is still sticky, but it's not sticking to my fingers. Um, and it's quite manageable. It's quite manageable. It's not icky, icky sticky basically where um, you feel like it's got, you've got glue all over your fingers. <laughs> so after you've done that, you then get the a unicorn shimmer. I'm just gonna put it out a bit. And then again, it says little at a time. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty sparkle. Oh, I like this one. This is a pretty purple. It's like an, um, you know those amethyst geode rocks? <gasps> How cute! Time for warp drive. Okay, so I've now got it to that consistency where it's even less sticky since I've put that stuff in and it's pulling beautifully it's not sticky I can do these you know I call it the finger test <laughs> without it sticking to the fingers you can pull it off easily it's basically a lovely thick slime that you can work with but because it is an ultra rare slime, we also have this unicorn sparkle to make it just that extra bit sweet. So I wonder who, what Rainbow Bright Star comes with, because they've all come with different ones. Oh, she's come with more of those. Oh no, she, hers are hard. I was gonna say she's come with, um. oh, they're little light purple hearts. I thought she was coming with the hearts that I'd already had in there from the other ultra rare. Okay, so folded it over, pull and fold, Pull and fold, pull and fold. Okay, these stars do not stick as well as some of the other ones. <laughs> I'm trying to get them to stick in there, but they just keep falling out. Stay, I'm getting somewhere finally with them. Uh, oh my goodness, look at that. How cool is that? They're sticking in, it's going well. That's beautiful. Now, once you've made your slime, in order to keep it nice and fresh, all you have to do is get your little uh, slime holding bag. Make sure you squeeze out the air when you get inside. Look at my fingers, I got fairy fingers. Um, and then put it into here. And if you've made your slime well enough, this shouldn't be too difficult of a process. Look, there's no residue left at the top. Just gonna squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Get all that air out. And voila, there is Rainbow Bright Stars Slime. Easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Slime and me are starting to work out. Okay, so I'm gonna do Nana's next. Let's bring it up.
Okay, so going from one of the stickier ones, it is now one of the more stronger ones. It is definitely not sticking to any of my fingers. As you can see, it comes straight off. I'm into like a blue tack actually. This one actually feels like a blue tack to me. Um, when it comes apart, it even comes apart in pieces rather than, you know, it has like webs and stuff. Look at that. How cool is that? All right, so let's get Nana's in her Pupitos bag. <laughs> oh no, officer, I didn't do it. I didn't kill the fairy. The evidence is on your fingernails, lady. <laughs> okay, let's squeeze it all out. All that ear. Awesome. Next. Okay, I think we've got an okay consistency now. Um, let's have a look. Let's do the stretch test. So this is a really interesting um, greeny-blue combination. Yep, there's nothing sticking to my fingers. It pulls apart rather than sticks to you. Doesn't stick to my fingers when I pat at it. Yeah, that's a really cool color. I actually really like this combination. I was like, ah, green and blue, how's that gonna go? But it does look like a murky seawater. Okay, so that is the last one. Let's get it in the Pupitos bag. So fun to play with. Is it Pupitos? Yes, it is. And we'll do a flyby over which sparkly creatures we got next. And we only have three left in the box and there's three left on my checklist so i think we are definitely going to be completing our sparkly critters series one i cannot wait i'm hoping after i've done this astra allows say she wants to open her unicorns <laughs> so i can do the big ones and see how i if i have any luck with making the slime awesome here are the girls we got in this opening, our ultra rare rainbow bright star, Nanners who is a common and Bubbles who is a rare with their respective little drinks, La Caca and two farters over there, pineapple and orange. They're beautiful slimes that go with them. There's only three cans left in that box. There's only three missing for my collection. This is both happy and sad <laughs> because I've really, really loved opening these toys. I cannot wait to see what the Poopsie collection comes up with next. I'm hoping that they bring out a giant Poopsie tiger because that would be amazing. Uh, I can see that being snapped up so fast at shops. There's gonna be a frenzy. And my favorite down here, a Poopsie Fox. I would definitely be hunting for this one if it came out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which was your favorite sparkly creature in this opening and how did I do with the slime? I hope I did okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Please subscribe if you love toys. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, I'm back. Um